This is a report of Midjourney News for the week ending the 13th of January, 2024. I'll leave a link to a document containing a transcript summary of the office hours, along with all prompts for Midjourney version 6 images used in this video. Let's get started. On the 10th of January, David Holes led the weekly Midjourney office hours event. He seemed excited about several new features being developed, saying that January should be our pretty cool month for Midjourney. David began by referring to an update for V6 Alpha pushed out on Friday, the 5th of January. This update included improvements to the default aesthetics, better image coherence, and improved prompt accuracy. Text rendering should also be improved with the 5th of January update. The team is developing an in-painting and very region feature for V6, which is currently in training, and the training may be completed this week. The combined feature set will include zoom out and panning features. It sounded like in painting, very region, zoom out, and pan have the potential to be released for V6 this month. Other new features mentioned for V6 include consistent characters and consistent styles, which are very intriguing. It seems that the consistent style feature is a more certain feature for a near-term release. Yet if they find that consistent style software provides a good and workable foundation for consistent characters, the two may come along together. David said that style consistency and character consistency will work like today's image prompt, where you'll give Midjourney an image and say you want a new image to be like the one given. In other words, you'll be saying, I want to have the style of this image, or I want to have the character in this image for my new scene. For upscaling, David anticipated a small near-term update to image quality, addressing issues with a previous version of Weird, and improving Not Safe for work filtering to minimize unintended nudity situations. In fact, an upscaling update to V6 did come along the same day as office hours, during the evening of the 10th of January. David also said that there will be an update in the next week or two, aiming to reduce the number of blurry images addressing concerns people have in that regard. The team is working on a new style tuner, starting with the old style tuner method, along with V6 algorithms, and exploring better versions. They are also exploring control nets, which allow you to specify the composition of a scene, or potentially using a drawing input for scenes. These features are experimental, and they'll test them with guides and mods before deciding to roll them out. The team is also working on Nija V6. They plan to conduct tests with guides and mods next week, with the potential for a release later this month. While text drawing support may not be initially included in Nija V6 due to the complexity of multiple languages, the team aims to incorporate a text feature for supporting various languages, including Japanese and Chinese characters, in the future. Looking ahead, the team is exploring V6 video models, with plans to introduce something involving an upscale feature that adds motion, possibly in February or March. While it may not meet all expectations, their goal is to maintain high quality and high probability of user satisfaction, even if the feature doesn't fulfill every requirement. Additionally, the team is working on server updates to optimize performance on V6 and prevent server shortages when enabling V6 by default as V6 goes to beta. Their goal is to make V6 accessible to everyone, rather than just those who opt into it. They are planning to expand access to the Creation Alpha website, potentially including not just the 10K club, but also the 5K or 2.5K club. Their primary consideration is the usage statistics concerning whether the people with access are actively using and enjoying the web-based platform. If the last website update is any indication, David said people are beginning to appreciate the Alpha website. Some notable updates to the Alpha website include enhancements to the Lightbox and the introduction of the Archive section on the new website, both of which have received positive feedback. David said most of the team is dedicated to completing version 6 toward a beta state, incorporating features like in-painting, out-painting, zoom, control nets, style tuner, and Niji. After completing V6 beta, everyone will shift their focus to version 7 and video-related enhancements. From my perspective, 
this was a very informative and enthusiastic look at the state and future of mid-journey features and capabilities. I hope you enjoyed this week's summary. Just a reminder that you'll have a link to a document with a transcript summary and all prompts for these mid-journey v6 images. Thanks for your continued interest and support. See you soon. Bye-bye.